So a few weeks ago, I did a video, an updated video on how to migrate your OS, this time using Disk Genius. And so far, it seems like this program is doing a lot better for a lot more people. It's a lot more stable. It's causing a lot less issues, which is great. One issue that has come up quite a bit though, is moving from a smaller drive to a larger drive. There's a lot of unused space or you feel like your drive is getting smaller for some reason. And I did the original video by showing a larger drive to a smaller drive because that was by far the most common situation uh, in the previous two and a half years. But some people are having an issue with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you two things. First one, I'm gonna show you how to fix it at the OS migration steps in order to use the full size of your new drive. And then I'm also gonna show you if you've already done this process, and you're not getting the full size of your drive, I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Um, so let's go ahead and hop right into it. All right, so here we are in Disk Genius. And as you can see, my current Windows drive is one terabyte and the new drive we're gonna be copying it to is four terabytes. So if you have the situation where you're going from a smaller to larger drive, when you do your OS migration and you select your target disk, the important thing you have to do here is use up this free space. And what you wanna do is basically just drag your C drive as large as it can go. Now your orientation may be a little bit different. Your C drive may be in the middle here. You should still be able to drag it out as far as possible um, in order to make it the full size of the drive and make sure that there's no unused free disk space in this window. Um, so that's gonna be super important. So if you haven't done your migration yet, that should solve your issues. If you end up having a problem, go ahead and join the Discord and I'll try to help you further. But that has been the issue for most people. Now, if you've already done the migration process and you wanna fix it, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to do that too. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave the free space as is. I will do the automatic boot sequence change, why not? And we're gonna go ahead and press start and we're just gonna let this thing go. We're gonna do the Windows PE like I did before, and we will let this go. We'll be back when it's done. All right, so we've booted back into the computer. We've got the whole migration done. We are now booting from the four terabyte drive, as you can see here in Disk Genius, but our drive's only one terabyte instead of the four terabytes that it should be. Why is that? Well, if we look at the partitions, we can see that 2.7 ter uh, terabytes of that is currently unallocated. Now, all we have to do is fill in that space. And there are a few ways that we can do this. We could do it directly using Disk Genius, which is gonna be the easiest method. I will also show you the method of how to do that with Disk Management, so you don't have to use Disk Genius at all. So within Disk Genius, the easiest way to do this is to right click on this area, and you can go ahead and do Allocate Free Space To, and you can tell it where you want that free space to get allocated. So if you choose the partition local disk C, it's gonna add all of that space into local disk C. The nice thing about this method is that it should not matter where that allocated space is. Um, where these partitions are technically on a drive does matter normally. So if the C drive was over and you had another partition in between the C drive and the free space, it's usually a lot more difficult, but within disk management, Within Disk Genius, sorry, it's a lot easier to just do the free allocate space too. Now, if you wanna do this directly within Disk Management, you can do that as well. This method only works if the unallocated partition space is right next to the C drive partition, okay? So if you click on your C drive, you right click on it, you do extend volume, you do next. By default, it should be the maximum amount. You'll know that is if you hit the up arrow, it doesn't change in size. If you hit the down arrow, it does. If you hit the up arrow, it does not. So we're gonna go ahead and hit next. We're gonna hit finish. And now it has filled in the rest of that space for me. So now my C drive, if I refresh this, is now the full size. So either method works. The Disk Genius one is really great because it applies to multiple situations. The Disk Management one is also nice because it's just built directly into Windows. So either of these methods should work. Again, if you do have issues past this, you're welcome to hop into the Discord and make a post about it and I will try to help you out, but this should solve most of your problems. Now, Disk Genius also has a way to do the extending partition and also resizing the partition, 
built right into the tool. I just wanted to show a way to do it within a Windows tool. So you, if, in case you got rid of Disk Genius, you don't have to re-download it. Um, I will leave the documentation for how to resize, how to extend, and even how to do the allocate free space. I will leave links to all of those documents in the description and in the pinned comment. Disk Genius has a really good set of support files that'll walk you through how to do all these processes and they're very simple. So I will leave those all linked down below. You can choose whichever method you want within Disk Genius or within uh, Windows Disk Management. Just choose the one that best fits your situation. And as I mentioned, the extend partition is also going to be limited by where the space of that extended partition is going to be, what's beside it, what's not, a whole bunch of other things. You can even merge partitions using this uh, these tools. So do keep that in mind. Again, I will leave all that stuff linked in the description. With all that said, I really do hope this video helped you out. And if not, I at least hope you found it interesting. If you did, I'd really appreciate it. If you like, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, you can leave those down in the comment section below and I'll be happy to get to them all as quickly as I can. Again, if there's a particular question about Disk Genius and you're having problems and you want troubleshooting, best place is to go to the Discord. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors, Lot Simon Stepback, and thank you for watching the end of this video. If you want to see any of the other videos where I talk about little tips and tricks and tools to do on your computer, you can go ahead and check out the playlist right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next time.